Welcome to Pod Paul Debate. Tonight, we have a special show. We will be discussing a roundtable discussion instead of a debate. This will be a bit different, but this will still be super interesting. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight, guys. Uh, we are the only show in the internet where we talk about Project Winter, and it's going to be a rumble tonight. So we have a new guest tonight we ne we've never had before. Ash is joining us for the first time. Ash, thanks for being here. Thank you. We have some returning faces. We have FTL, <laughs> Orsteve, Peaser, Rostery, Shadow. Shadow has not been here in a while. Shadow, it's nice to see you. We've been missing you. Yeah, it's glad to be. Good, good to be here. It's very nice to see you. See, see what I did there. Oh, that was that was comedy. Wow, I didn't know this was a comedy. There you show. go. We have everything. Yeah. We have drama. We have comedy on the show. Uh, so before we go on, just a little bit of housekeeping, guys. We have some social media platforms that we created uh, two weeks ago. So feel free to go and have a look at that if you want more of the show. I post at least one clip of the the debate show every week on Twitter. We have a TikTok page and we have a YouTube. If you like the show. Feel free to find Asparagus Dikery on YouTube. Uh, you will be able to see all the previous shows. I think we have uploaded uh, show four right now. Show five is going to go live tomorrow, so you can uh, see all the past debate. So, drum roll, please. Asparagus goofed. Oh, Asparagus goofed again. Oh, not a shock. Not a shock. Oh. It happens a lot. So, without any further ado, I'm just going to go and give you I, guys all a minute and minute 30 to introduce yourselves. So, I will give you uh, one minute 30 uninterrupted. You can tell us who you are. Uh, what's your experience with the game and where people can find you? So, Ash, since you're the uh, newest uh, recruit here, uh, how about you go first? Okay. Um, well, my name is Ash. Uh, in game, it's Taylor Jade. Uh, I've been playing for about a year now. Uh, most of the people I talk to on Discord, uh, we all play together. I'm uh, not the best player, but I do enjoy playing it. I think it's a user friendly game, and that's all it's about it that i have to... words. words words lots of words yep, words do you have any I... social media pages or uh content you create you want to plug right here nope nope no. i don't do socials i'm more of a to myself person so so if you want to find ash is going to be to myself mm -hmm. uh ftl go ahead Hello, Floor is yours. Uh, i'm ftl i i play project winter a little bit in the past year um yeah that I, I, I don't know i you could find i will probably eventually stream i keep saying i will i haven't recently but you could find me at pw underscore fdl if i ever decide that i want to stream how, how long have you been playing the game oh about a year a little over a year about, about a, a year, year and a month now at this point how many hours uh, i have 900 hours 900 hours awesome uh or steve your turn man I'm Horse Thief, and my camera share on Discord is blurry, and it is driving me absolutely bonkers, and I can focus on absolutely nothing else because it looks so clean at the source. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I used to play a ton of Project Winner. I don't play quite as much anymore. I used to stream a lot of Project Winner. Right now, I stream a lot of Auto Battlers, a.k.a. Storybook Brawl, over on my channel, Horse Thief 3. And you can find me doing that sort of thing, uh, Horse Thief underscore 3 on Twitter, although I really don't do enough tweeting but yeah uh you might find me in the cabin that that could happen and you'll definitely find me on twitch playing storybook for all a lot big question for you is a uh, storybook or project winter the better game uh i can't project answer that they're not I even close they're two that. different games you can't you can't <laughs> compare those well, because we, well, we're we going to our topic Witcher, later this evening, compare. they both hold a special spot in my heart for completely different reasons. So both very good games. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you, Horse. Uh, peace, sir. Floor is yours. Uh, yeah, I've been playing this game for above two years now, about 1,400 hours in it. Um, I've been streaming it for since the day I got it. Uh, I've been partnered with the program for about 10 months now. And uh, yeah, you can find me at Peaser Plays because Peaser was taken, uh, and I made a logo, so it's never changing now. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, basically stick basically around it since the day I got it. Haven't really put it down, um, except for like a two month break. But uh, games brought me a lot of enjoyment and a lot of uh, times I want to burn my entire PC in the backyard. So thank you, Peaser Rustery. It's your turn. How you doing, everyone? Oh, 
mic issues. How you doing, everyone? I'm Rusty. I've been with the game since day one, and I love debating. No need to plug my other things, because the upload schedule is almost non-existent at this point. <laughs> awesome. So nothing to plug here. Yay. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, last but not least, our returning uh, guest, Shadow. Hi, I'm Shadow. Hi, uh, Shadow. Hi. Uh, it's Faceless Me. I don't have a cam. Uh, I've been on Project Winner for, what, almost two years now? Maybe something like that? I enjoy the game a lot. Like Peaser says, the other half of the time, you know, I want to burn everything. But <laughs> it, the game is great, and it's lovely. Uh, you can find me at, what, Chaotic Shadow, Sh bleh, Chaotic Shadow 6 on Twitch. The name will change eventually. Just hit 100 followers. That's kind of cool. I love the game. Love the people. Sometimes. Sometimes. And sometimes you don't. Yep. Okay. Excellent. A few little details here before we go, guys and uh, gals in the chat. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions for debaters here, make sure to uh, ask them in chat. You can uh, use at AspargusDecary or at Pizza or at Tentacle, and we will make sure to address your question. I will use a part of the stream by the end to send your questions to the uh, participants. This stream is scheduled for to go on for uh, an hour, and uh, an hour 30, and uh, not not too much, not, not very much. If this goes well, we might do a Project Winter game after that with all the participants, which is... Uh, becoming a tradition by now. Uh, one more thing, we are gonna do a giveaway today. That's exciting. We have a copy of the Project Winter game to give. So not right now, uh, it's, the giveaway is not open, but by the midpoint, I will tell you guys and you'll be able to enter the code and join the giveaway to get your own copy of the game. If you already have a copy of the game, well, you can give it to one of your friends to make our community even bigger and nicer. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Do we have anything else we want to check before we go? I don't think we do. So I will get the ball rolling with the first question here. Our topic tonight will be what brings you the most enjoyment in Project Winter? But before we go, I would <coughs> like for one of you to tell us, or a few of you to tell us, what is social deception for you and why do you like it? Or if you want, maybe you want to go first? So... Honestly, it's just the conversation. I, of all the time that I've played this, uh, figuring out who's bad and all of that, that that's been much less fun than just goofing around with people that I enjoy goofing around with. Uh, that's kind of what social deception, where the where it fits in my life. I don't, I don't feel the need to be the great deceiver necessarily. I like getting away with a few things here and there, and I, I do get a kick out of it, but. Yeah, uh, the, the social deception aspect of it, it, it's more fun seeing someone else fool me, someone else do something that I just never expected them to do. And especially with the time put into this game and the time spent with these various people, it, when when they do something different that was unexpected, it, it's just there's a, this little like fun kind of delicious moments. So, I, uh, yeah. Delicious. Uh, Ash, since you're uh, new here, I'm going to direct you the question. Uh, what is social deception for you and why do you enjoy it? Um, I guess social deception is just in a way lying to others to like make them believe, you know, you're something that you're not. Um, for me, why I like it is I love playing the board games like Werewolf or uh, Secret Hitler, things like that, just to catch my friends off guard um so project winter is just one of those games that kind of had those like resemblance in strategizing what you were going to do what you were going to say to uh throw people off their off your trail so so lying and uh and being a traitor <laughs> yep <laughs> sure we can we can say it like that i guess how about you guys anyone else want to join in this uh jump in on this one i can <laughs> jump in as well go ahead um, if you have. so part of me i i also played a lot of similar games i played a lot of mafia and i love when when i am a traitor i love the the fe that feeling you get when people realize you're the traitor but just when it's too late if that they can do anything about it and it's just like oh and then they're dead it's that like one mo that little moment that you strive for where it's like they 
figured out what's been going on this whole time and you were the traitor and that just feels great another thing for me is when i'm on the good side the deduction part of social deception and i love the uh, the thinking of the puzzle like what is what am i missing that is i'm not able to figure out the truth here why is this happening and there's something i know there's something out there some piece of information that's vital to me and i have to figure out or at least fill in the blanks of what's happening here and, and i love fi trying to figure out who is the traitor in that way too and i really enjoy that part so i enjoy both the deception and the deduction part of project winter in those forms a lot so i presume you like puzzle games right uh yeah i like puzzle-ish stuff and rts games that are more strategy based also, awesome. So, so far we have a uh, puzzle, we have deciphering the roles, we have uh, deception and we have lying and we have being deceived. Apparently, if I understood the uh, horse thief uh, correctly, you rather you have more fun in being deceived than being the deceiver, right? Yeah. Awesome. It takes it takes people on both sides. It takes people li liking to be deceived for uh, for order to do the deception. Pizer. It... So I found this game through uh through through deceit which is s similar but not even close um it's a free to play shit show where you play with a bunch of assholes that hate everybody and it's two two on four and you get to turn into monsters at when the lights go out and that was the first thing that introduced me to that type of game like cuz i mean among us was a thing sure but i've got project winner months before among us even blew up and even then when <laughs> When I was playing with the most interesting folks on the planet, they were still sometimes a ton of fun to g interact with or lie to or just in general try to figure out the entire um, what happened around you, even though you have way less time in a game like that than Project Winner. But when I saw Project, I figured, like, I'll buy this on a whim. Like, you know, I, I'm into these type of games. And since then, I've ended up buying a bunch more. Just because of that, we're really enjoying that genre, I guess. Like, it's not, it's not, <clears throat> there's not a huge, like, barrel to dig through for these type of games either. There's probably only, like, 10 really decent ones that stand out. And in my opinion, that genre and that game stand out above everybody, everything else. Because I hate top-down games. And I, I like, top view games, hate them. Can't play them. So this is the only one that really, really stuck with me. What other games uh, would you say that are in this similar category? Uh, Agru is one I got. Um, there's, I never played uh, Secret Hitler yet. I actually, I have, I, I wrote down a couple of these for something else the other day. Uh, Unfortunate Spaceman but... was a disaster. I couldn't get into that either. Borrow Trauma was interesting. A little too, little. I think I kind of caught that on the end of its uh, cycle with the people I play with, and then um, mm. I did. I don't. I don't really. What about I mean, like Agri, those past trouble? Agri, in, that's, that's, here it is. Agri's werewolf game, essentially. So it's the same yeah, thing, yeah. but it looks like Project Winner. Then, yeah, First Class Trouble is probably number two for me. Game's absolutely hilarious. Um, it and is. In ter yeah. <laughs> in terms of, uh, like, in terms of those two, though, one is a lot more whimsical than the other, if you can take yeah. it that way. Excellent. Thanks for your input. Rustery, any thoughts on the social deception and why you like or hate it? I've played Deceit before and I've played a bunch of ranked and also before it became before they changed it. clone thing. Yeah, what was yeah. that? Yeah, the long story, but that's uh, another thing. Yeah. Um, social deception can work both ways, as others said, where it's both being deceived and deceiving people. I love seeing people's reactions. It's really, really fun in order to see how they react. Creating false notions, creating lies, or calling someone out and creating a lie about what they were actually doing is a ton of fun. And also just, you could end the game faster. You, let's say you can just kill everyone 1v5 right then and there after you just made them kill one of their own survivor buddies. You can call it a day or in deceit. You could just kill the guys in stage one instead of the final stage but you just wait it out you keep going and then in the final moment when they think they've been in the clear for the rest of the round you strike and finish them and then that's social deception that's the moment they realize that they've been deceived that it's been working up to this one moment 
That's my favorite part of Social Deception. That one moment where uh, all AL break loose. And a Shadow, uh, any thoughts on uh, Social Deception and why you like or hate it? For me, Social Deception is so weird. It's so almost situational. There are things where you can just straight up deceive people. You can just lie to their faces. But there's also things where, example, Project Winner, you open up one crate and you run off, and that one crate makes everyone, because they have no clue who did it, there's yelling, there's shouting, there's this and that. You've no oh, clue. Oh, they know. They know it. it's you. You always do it, Shadow. Okay, always well. Say, open crate. We know oh, Shadow's a crater. We know it right away. That's not the point. The point is you you don't have to even do anything. One small thing you do just leads to chaos. And I I think almost that is deception in itself. I feel it's I, there's so many different ways that deception can be represented. I find it so situational. Just different things you can do i love i you might i don't you don't see it often but i love lying to people's faces to cause chaos in quote-unquote sheeping uh even though i, I don't really do that um <laughs> but or i love just causing one tiny misinformation to string across everyone's brains and to just destroy everything slowly or i'm ready i'm ready or you're ready. I'm ready, Ors. What are you ready for? Well, I, you want to get me cr drive me crazy for a second? Oh wait, it looks oh, better. It, wait, it's good. You did <laughs> it's it. Good it's good now. It's good. You it fixed worked. it. Oh, I couldn't focus on anything else. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh gosh, Oof, no, no, we're you, okay. You, you focused on your camera. See, we're doing dad jokes. There tonight. you go. Oh, oh. Da, 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 so uh, I, I'm get gonna out of jump. Here. Boo. Boo. No, Boo. no, no. You know what you signed in Boo. for. When you join me, you know you're going to get poor dad jokes. Don't even pretend you were not expecting it. Uh, uh, on my end about social deduction, I want to jump into it because I'm more of a... Uh, <laughs> it's, I'm going to be a participant tonight. Tiny drum roll for Spy Goof, everyone. Thank you, Tentacle. Thank you. Uh, my favorite part about this is to... Uh, well, you know, I, I host a debate show, so I like drama, right? I like to see people scream at each other. I like to be the cause of it. So you just mm -hmm. find a situation, you light a match, you throw it, and you watch the fire burns, and you just watch laughing. That's why I, I like these types of games, because you're totally you're totally encouraged to do it. If you do that in other games, you're going to be kicked out, you're going to be banned, you're going to be shouted out, you're going to be pushed away. But if you do it in Project Winter, that's what you have to do. So that's why I think it's the uh, one of the perfect game for me. So, so deep down in your heart, you're a troll, but it's yeah. not acceptable in other games. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Big reveal tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Ors. <laughs> I'm actually just I an awful person. <laughs> That's the reason why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you just like I, did, I just get a, I get a, like, what was it, deceit? I remember the first time I genuinely talked to someone, and I was like getting a rush, like just lying to this person all the way to the end. And that's what it really stuck with me is I get more of that for a like longer period of time, yeah. like a little, little adrenaline rush. Of yeah, yeah, because I I'm I'm so bad at it in person. Like the only time I can lie to someone is is literally behind a computer. So yeah, to have that yeah, that, same here. Same yeah, here. it's also one of the good moments where it's accept accept acceptable to do it, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah. I will say, while my lying skills don't transfer to real life, I have found my deduction skills have, and I'm usually able to tell when people lie to me in real life. Right. No. Oh, that's it's, nice. Uh, I can't. But you that's can't, so good. Lie to me. <laughs> it's a, so, it's so much of a good feeling when you go, let's say, into the uh, first station, and you just steal some parts where someone is next to you, and then everybody else turns out and they accuse the other guy of stealing the parts, and everybody's whacking <laughs> on him, great. and you just go away scot-free. But just, uh, yeah, it's just you would not do that in real stuff. life. <laughs> no, you could I wouldn't not. go whacking on people. I wouldn't just wail on someone in real life. That's not a good idea. I'm not often putting parts in an objective in real life, though. Yeah. No, it you know? doesn't really relate. Maybe paper in the printer, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> someone stole um, the paper, kill them. <laughs> By the way, guys, in chat, paper. we have a poll going on. Uh, you debaters, please don't look at it because I'm going to ask you these questions Aww. later. So no, no cheating, no cheating. I already looked at one of them. I'm not going to lie. You caught me about half a second before I clicked on it. Hey, it's yeah, okay. You got, uh, I'm not going to reveal the, que the answer yet. We're going to reveal the answers later on. But the questions are going to okay. be uh, in the uh, in the chat for the people to uh, interact with it. So right now, we're well, well I'm not going to say it because you guys are going to Google it because uh, you're a bunch of deceivers and you're going <laughs> to cheat, right? 
and you're gonna lie Google. to me about it. I, I, I don't know Google is. Keep, keep your hands in the air for the rest of the show. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, my hands are very in the air. <laughs> I believe you, Shadow. I believe you, Shadow. Just gonna use that in your tiny. Yeah, bit rest of for you, Shadow. They don't even. They, there's no way of telling. Uh, don't I'm gonna, worry, I don't need the internet. I'm just going to follow up with another oh. question. Uh, we all said why we enjoy social deduction, but uh, I think Pisa pushed a little bit about it. Uh, why this game and not another one? I like um, the le longevity. Like, in a game yeah, of the, in a game of uh, Deceit, it's like five minutes. Like, if that yeah, game this of... Game, uh, I do like the length that you can deceive people at because it's far more satisfying when you do it for a long yeah. period of time and you have way more options for things you can do with that time frame pieces are right. pieces are right. there's, there's a community. Any other game there's a real community, community in this one too right when i got in like i started to recognize people game after game that were like like oh hey like welcome back but like i think i've told this story the first time i got the game the first night i played with these guys like eight times and they intentionally taught me wrong as like a joke like Haha, yeah now but <laughs> that sucked i like i actually almost almost quit the game entirely because of that but then i decided you know Project I, Winter? I, yeah, yeah yeah like like it's kind of <laughs> kind of funny in hindsight but like realistically like i could never do that to someone i knew was new just because that's like you just kind of scared me away from the game i thought gun parts were like a bad thing and if you made a backpack at <laughs> all you were a traitor for like the first 200 hours wait that's not it oh shit yeah oh yeah i yeah, know yeah, that's it <laughs> i have had people kill me over making a backpack before yeah and home signs and all that kind of stuff too but there's like there's and being new signs. and then there's intentionally going out of your way to show someone the wrong way only survivors but... can interact with signs still something we do try to catch new players in the lie right you go to a new player and you yeah can say, yeah oh, i i, okay, I, I try to avoid yeah. catching them with a the mechanic if they do it themselves yeah, like, I, 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 i've seen one run up and interact with them and be like oh shit and i was just like <laughs> you idiot my you know? favorite thing to do is to go new players and tell them you go next to the fire. If you see a prompt, you can hold E and you can boost the fire. And they say, oh, I see it. Sabotage That's... fire. And then you know they're traded right away. It's sabotaging it's their brain. Toasty in here, yeah. Fun fact, I don't oh. know if you guys were here for this, but back then, bonus objectives uh, were different for traders oh. and survivors. So they're yeah. like, hey, yes. I need to do... Uh, what's it called? I think cook a human heart was one of them. Yeah. And then it's literally only traders can get that, and they're like, oh, and they just pull. Ugh. It's and, not even us trying people... to do it. It's just no. There's people that throw themselves out there like by like was... just saying the wrong thing. That's just part of learning though too. Wasn't yeah. there also like a max of one each bonus objective? So if two people claim the same oh, bonus yeah. objective, you knew one of them was that. a traitor or a troll. Is it a thing? I... Yeah. No, it, it, was a thing. it was. That not was a thing. There's a I lot of really still dumb things is, for these guys but because all bonus objectives are universal across both traders and survivors, it doesn't really matter anymore. But there were like two bonus objectives that were really, really similar. And I know the numbers can be changed around back then. So technically two people could have very similar ones, which created funny moments back then. Or um uh Ash Shadow or uh or <clears throat> Uh, why Project Winter and not another game like uh, like the one Pizza uh, described, Agro, Secret Hitler, the DC, First Class Trouble? Um, well, for me, okay, so I don't play many video games. I think probably compared to everyone here and probably anyone on Twitch, I play the least amount of actual video games um, known to, you know, man. I like playing board games. I like, you know bringing people over, you know, doing things in uh, person. Um, so when Among Us came out, you know, got really popular back in 2020, like quarantine and everything. It I was, was everywhere. It was everywhere. You couldn't escape. Um, but I really liked it because I, I was really able to point, like pinpoint the traders out of my friends. And... The only thing that kind of sucked is the only way you could, I guess, work together in that game is to do your own thing. And so when I saw one of my favorite YouTubers playing um, Project Winter, it just felt more involved, more uh, talking, like more of a social game than even just, you know, someone's dead, let's, you know, figure it out. I think it's... Um, I think it's just more involved, and it kind of just drew me in. 
I'm with Ash on that. Uh, I played very few social deception games. I, I had honestly, only things I've ever played video game wise, social deception among us, goose, goose, duck, which is just more among us and project winner. And I cannot get into that. I, I think I actually found project winner before even attempting among us. And I got hooked in because I played with some people, a dude I knew and his group of college buddies. And we had a lot of fun and we all kind of sucked and we laughed it up, but then, you know, meeting some of the other people that the community really sucked me in. And then among us just didn't scratch that itch for me. It was, they, it just didn't feel like there was enough to do. It, it felt very much like stuff happened. You died or you didn't, you figured out who was bad. It, I, I, whatever it was, something about that. And my only other real experience with social deception was board games. I got, I got a buddy who's a big board game fan and uh, different things like uh you know sheriff of nottingham i always had a lot of fun with but there was another one that's uh very much a werewolf style one that i, I didn't care about that much I, Pl- I, blood I and think... clock tower what's which one the blood and the clock tower no that's a great game i, I i'm thinking I of like one it. where you not not even werewolf yes. style where you do missions and you people make the mission succeed or fail basically i think there's a jackbox game like it now but anyway i Oh, the resistance. Just, resistance, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm kind of so-so on resistance. It's all right. But the the people and the, just the immersiveness and it really scratch, it scratches an itch. There are mechanics to master in the game. There, There's a lot going on. Project Winner is a lot deeper than you think it is the first couple of times you play it. The, the When you fire it up or if you see it, you learn that there's this and there's that and there's this other thing to watch and being able to efficiently master getting tasks done and then getting a level of confidence with certain things so that you can get a level of confidence to be a decent betrayer if that's not because that wasn't my comfort zone at first it was much easier for me to go and get buffed and attempt to kill you so i i liked i liked the progression and the like project winner just it had the right hooks to to get me ash mentioned mentioned something and it's sticking my mind uh we all know and we lived it among us was everywhere I think we all agree here that Project Winter is the superior game to Among Us, right? Nobody here is going to say yeah. Among Us is better because yeah. you'll be yeah. probably kicked I, out of the I, podcast anyway. I did but... play Among Us for quite a while. I had 100 hours, got bored. I am still 900 hours in Project Winter and still going. Not bored. So, so but, yeah. But, but that's saying like, that... Go ahead, Pizza. That's a very different. Like It's it's the same, but I have... I don't like a game too often where I have no chance. Like if I just happen to bump into you, like ah, that's sorry, your neck snapped. Like I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather yeah, have the opportunity yeah. to either get away or fight back. Like, yeah, I definitely agree. I, I did enjoy Among Us, but it just didn't provide the same enjoyment and total like longevity that Project Winter did for me. Well, but my thing... qu- uh, go ahead, Rusty. I'm gonna ask oh. my question after. Oh. Uh, the thing is though, like Among Us is for like short bursts, it's just something quick with friends and yeah. stuff like that. It's hard to compare a game that's meant just to be quick, like once you're bored of it, you there's nothing to keep you hooked compared to a game that's a continuous service that although not as popular, adds upon the foundation, has more interesting mechanics and stuff like that. One's just for mobile and fun, even though it has a PC counterpart, it's just included for everyone one is more in depth and complex something that very yeah. few can get into than just some random person playing among us for the first time so it's given that mobile we, game they can have yeah, like 16 people what well, is going to be a project winter mobile soon so no no, no i mean like they can they, they were able to change the source to make more lobbies like more people but they, well, given they we not? all agree that we like project winter most uh I would be curious to know why you can't get Among Us got so big and Project Winter didn't reach the same levels. I, I oh, think Among Us is easy. It's free. It's free. Simple, and the fact free. That it's, it's simple, easy. Project Winter is not only more expensive, but it's more complex and complexity sometimes scares people away. And you also like got to take into consideration like a large portion of that is like a younger generation too. Like when they have a phone, yeah. they can play a game with their, their friend doesn't cost them anything their parents have to buy it for them and it's something that like that a family would know is okay for them even though they're getting like shot and stabbed and stuff yeah still like that that was a huge that was a huge uh uh demographic of the game you wouldn't really know though because it was no voice comms i would go ahead ash 
Oops, sorry. Oh, I no. was just going to say, I'd also um, kind of add in to that. Of, it's not just the kids. I think a lot of, I saw like a ton of like adults and a ton of like people oh, who <laughs> probably don't play video games or play like games yeah. at all were trying um, because it was simple, cheap, easy. Um, and I think it's a great starter into deception games and just video games like that in general. Cause I think me, I definitely started as someone who didn't play video games at all. Saw Among Us, got interested, saw Project Winter, got even more interested in actually trying to go into a little bit more of a complex game. Yeah, I wasn't saying that that, that was the demographic. I mean, I'm saying that was say, open to them and easier, easily accessible to them. The question I, is kind of like Marcus, asking, why do people play Candy Crush instead of the most intense yeah. version of Tetris they could download on their PC? Instead of Dark Souls, like, you <laughs> You know why they're playing will, the Candy Crush? <laughs> <laughs> I will well, say for Among Us, though, I wouldn't last nearly as long, except for the fact that I found a very large Discord server that had like, it had like, I don't know, 100,000 people in it where you could just join a random voice call and play it. And if it wasn't for that, I don't even think I would have lasted five hours in Among Us worth of gameplay. That definitely was very enjoyable for me. But yeah, it's just yeah, way inferior compared to it's just, I don't know, the fact I had to join a Discord server to enjoy it more. Yes, Rustry? Well, the thing is for Among Us and all that is when the when Project Winner was starting to get a bunch of streamers and that playing like big names, the issue is, um, have anybody seen the streams from them and stuff like that when they were first trying out the game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were like constantly raging solar flare. They had no idea about the game. The problem is the game is very, very, um, I wouldn't say complex. Well, it is that as well, but it doesn't handhold you about the important things. Sure, we had ba basic mode now but back then we didn't and so a bunch of people were given the wrong impression about the game they were up against good players because there's no way to disperse what type of person was which and there was just a bunch of why am i dying what is what are we supposed to do how do we do this effectively going on and then among us you can just okay kill this person easy oh do this easy it's so simplified that anyone can do it. But in Project Winner, if you do not watch a guide beforehand, you're going to be lost and you're going to hate the game unless you have someone that's helping you. That is true. I've seen so many reviews uh, on uh, YouTube, especially when uh, Among Us came out on Wii. I got super interested to see new players jumping into the game and Wii players, I mean Switch, not Wii, Switch. Sorry, sorry. And I saw them trying to learn the game and being so so confused and just raging, uh, quitting a tutorial. Uh, I, I don't think... We can play Project Winter on the Wii. Asparagus but... still exists in the early 2000s. Switch. <laughs> Asparagus. I will say I actually do own it on the Switch as well. And it is significantly inferior compared to PC. I mean, it seems... I'm guessing it's worth it. Worse How would you even get it on the Switch? I wanted to see what it was like. But, but you have it on the PC. Well, you already have. I do. I actually but, uh, own. See, shut uh, don't 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 shun a true fan. He bought the game yeah, twice. Yeah, I want to tell you guys okay, not, a paper Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I bought Grand Theft Auto five, four like ten times. Five so. times or six times now. I, I have I have two versions. I have the Microsoft version on the PC and the Steam and the Switch version, and two of those have Blackout as well. So I bought in the main game three times and Blackout twice. So yeah. I, 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 I Clearly, just... you bought the wrong version. <laughs> the wrong well, version. You just need a Steam version. That's that's a superior one. So the, the closest right thing I've I played bought... recently to to Project Winner is Dread Hunger, like one hundred percent. It's I think the same amount of people. You're in the Arctic, and the whole idea is you got a base that has to move. It's a boat. So it's got to get through the through the ice to the wall to blow it up. The whole time, there's two people on the other team trying to stop you with things like 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 demons they send at you in the snow. I think they could send wolves. And then they can also it's cause terrible. a blizzard immediately, which like feels the most like Project Winter because that is at least the closest thing. Okay, relax. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and look at me. Look at my me. My neighbors came home, and uh, that like you know having to survive on food, heat, meat, and uh, eating meat, and then eating other people's bodies and that kind of stuff is like the closest thing I've yeah. gotten to it in in that sense where you have a yeah. longevity of a game, and it's right now the only one I play that even close to being 
as it's, much fun, I think. Yeah. And I know why you I like will... it, because you can cook on campfires. On That's that absolutely correct. No, actually, yeah. I don't think you can on campfires. I think you can on stoves Wait, that are throughout the throughout the stoves. world. So no, no, you like can't throw you can't throw your meat in campfires. It's can gonna, you do that? Burn, I don't. Yeah. I only played. I played one game last night for the first time in about four or five months, and it was actually a lot of fun. Um, you know, same yeah, thing. Yeah, I like will he... say I. En... Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I enjoy Dread Hunger, but I definitely think there is more combat in Dread Hunger and less deception. It's still a deceptive game. But it's it's pro it's a, it's yeah. like Project Winter, but more leaned towards combat. I I so, think that's something I they're mean, trying to like figure out combat. themselves too, though the developers. It's still in, it's still a lot newer. It's like what six months old, eight months old or something. Yeah. So if you like the combat side of Project Winter, you know, try Dread Hunger. <laughs> it's actually it was actually technically released yesterday. That's why I tried it. I know. I saw that. I saw that little bubble. I haven't updated it in like four months because I haven't played it in a while. But yeah. I do want to but, get back uh, into yeah. it. Closest thing now I can... That, I can. Now that the moderator's away, I'm going to be moderator, and I'm going to ask what kind of pizza do you think Asparagus just got? Shit, I was going to ask that. I was going to... God damn it. Oh. That's not pizza. You can try. <laughs> we, we, uh, sorry, guys. Uh, go ahead. We, we just added redeem. Uh, Red 5 redeem. It's 5,000 points for oh, is the cat, so there it is. Oh, uh, what are we saying, guys? Aww. This isn't distracting at all. So no, since you stepped away, we, we took over moderation and we just wanted to start asking questions about you. Oh, Absolutely. okay. Well, now Anarchy should we guess which now. is his favorite type? Like, what's his favorite topping? Mm. Since he's here now, it's got to be pineapple. He looks like a pineapple guy. Yeah, you oh, take Well, is it pineapple oh, and uh, ham or. Like no, just pineapple. Hawaiian or just pineapple? It's just no pineapple and dough. <laughs> just pineapple, dough and pineapple and bacon yeah. pizza. This, <laughs> this guy. Okay, this Honestly, is where I will use executive power and just bring back discussion on try guys because I didn't do it enough last we, week. We got so. it right, I guarantee it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now he's upset. <laughs> uh, pizza might have a point there. So there we go. Um. Well, Mangos, okay, uh, do you guys have in mind any, uh, what is your favorite place or one of your favorite moments you had in Project Winter? Yes, um, so yeah. this is actually, these two people I met um, in this game, one of them I ended up meeting in person and finding him a job. It's like a really long story, but job. Uh, he ended up being a personal friend of mine and then the other one I still play with almost every night. So these are two people I met it's in the me. game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she is very nice. <laughs> and um, So, uh, so the one, she is the ID thief. My buddy is something. I forget what he is, but his goal is to call in the ob objective or call in the escape, and I'm the I or the traitor. We do the whole game. I help them out. I'm I'm my my partner died like two seconds in, and they escaped the four, like the first three people. But my buddy wanted to call it in, and my other one wanted to roll. So I promise her the roll of me. Her thinking the whole time I'm 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 a good guy, and him having to call it in. So he calls in, we get to the escape. I let her kill me. She takes the role and I just hear the, oh, fuck. <laughs> I remember watching that And as that he turns live. around, he, she's, she just starts live. killing him. It's like, this is exactly, exactly this whole 32, 31 minutes of my life was worth it. Absolutely. Right. That's, That's so great. That is the most memorable was... game I've had in terms of lying to people. That's, I, I, I remember watching that live teaser. It was quite a few months ago, it's but it was like, so it's like, funny. It's like seven months ago. She's like, I just, I, like, I can have yours, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, go for it. And then just like, just the, the roll is stolen. And the, oh, she, called, fuck. she was like, oh, you <laughs> bitch. It's something like that. <laughs> it was, it was really funny. Oh, and then, God. and then getting killed by my own teammate on a bridge while the ID thief is like, I'm going to help you. <laughs> bridge kids I, are always I went back memorable. and watched that clip. I never once said pull it. I never once said pull it. I <laughs> was like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 just hold on, just hold on. And then I think it was Tentacle was my partner. And then just... All right. Oh, yeah, the one with Tentacle bridge <laughs> Yes, I think it was, I think she was my partner. I'll be honest, I, I that was a mess. Uh, Anyways, anybody I, else? Look, yeah, anybody else was... is a favorite play, do you remember? I, I got a quad bridge kill, I think. Was it, was it with Tentacle? It may have been a triple with Tentacle on the big bridge once. I think it was also Tentacle. I can't remember. But, it's but it's actually, always though, Tentacle. My, it's always Tentacle. My favorite all-time play, though. There was this one play. We killed both traders over by second. And I was ID Thief. Um, and there was three other people alive. We all claim our roles. I claim Detective. 
as I was stealing the role. And they're like, okay, well, then we're all good then, I think. Because for whatever the reason, they really believe my detective claim. And then they start all going back. Okay, we got to go fix first. One person stays by second because they're being lazy. They're like, go fix first. And so we go fix go the first. I killed the guy in first. The guy comes out of cabin trying to kill me. And the other guy at second objective is not on radio. So he doesn't know any of this is happening at cabin after I kill them both. I come running up to him at second objective. And he's just like, hey, why isn't first done? And then I shoot him with a crossbow. And he's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was just... <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun in the moment. ID Where's Thief, I think, makes for... There's other enjoyable ones I can't remember, but I think ID Thief definitely makes anything where I steal a traitor and clutch Weirdly, it Weirdly, first thing that came to mind for me was also an ID Thief play. Uh, obviously, they're, they're, everybody's done the 14 Brown at some point. That one's always pretty great. But uh, Oh, the, yeah. The ID <laughs> Thief, uh, one game... A fight breaks out it's a batteries everybody's going to work on second people are carrying batteries around finally the traders reveal they start to go kill people who have been working on the batteries i've been id thiefing around the whole entire time haven't taken a role haven't decided what i want to do the fight breaks out i sneak off behind a rock go set down nine i might have had a backpack it might have been a dozen bear traps i don't even know but just on the side of the fight assembling a bear trap field someone comes up survivor from the left traders are on the right fighting survivors they're down to people i'm not worried about any of it the traders finally come up they get caught in my bear trap survivor gets caught in my bear trap i down all three of them dodging all of my bear traps and then we start the negotiation of who's got the better offer for me and then we find out that the, <laughs> one of the red rolls is a scientist back when it was still scientist in play it's oh. like oh perfect well then i'll just become the scientist and we'll be red and we can be a little red trio together <laughs> I liked that one. I remember that you were streaming then. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, Ash or Shadow? Yeah. Or uh, so, okay. So, like I said, I'll probably reiterate this for the majority of this, you know, stream. Uh, don't play video games. Horrible at mechanics. Just love everything else uh, about it. But I was traitor one game, and um, which is like the worst role for me because I cannot hit anyone for the life of me. And my friend who I made while playing Project Winter, uh, me and her, we were just hanging out. And I specifically remember uh, we got teleported out. I came back. No one was at cabin. So I decided to go um, Sabo first. She catches me. I just book it. She's following me. Um, and I get on the bridge and she's following me. And she's like a hair behind. But somehow I manage to cross the bridge and drop her. Oh. And I just hear her screaming like, <clears throat> what is the lag? And I... <laughs> And that is the only time I was able to kill her in that game, because unlike me, she's actually a good player and can murder people. Um, so it's just something we talk about every single time I become traitor. So it's nothing I'll ever be able to live up to. Bridge kills are like the most memorable always, <laughs> except I, so I don't. Fun. I think I, I I don't I don't think I have more than one in my entire like career. Really? But I've bridge been killed on bridges I, I know more I than I've been them. killed by sickles. That's for sure. I, I I think I have about ten bridge kills. I'd say total through my. I, I, I a bridge I kill end up, stat. I end up I mean, being your bridge kills. That's I the guy. I killed Shadow a couple days ago. You got to do more. You of did. <laughs> I remember I that. I haven't died on a bridge yet. You haven't died you on a bridge. Mm -mm. I've seen my I've seen my partner get a quad. I think we need to change that. Kill. Well, I know what's gonna happen to tonight, to Ash. <laughs> Ash, if you join the post the post debate game, don't use any bridges because we're all gonna remember that. Well, I yeah. mean, you I, guys are I, gonna like kill me well, right away, and it's just gonna be super easy for you. I, I don't know if you guys were around. Like, I know Horace, you probably were, and I know FTL was for sure. Brussery, yeah. But for uh, Yuri's discoveries or videos of the uh, like the bomb bridging, oh my god, that just became a meta for like two weeks, where you just get, you'd run across a bridge, hit a mine shoot up oh. into the middle of it and then he would just come strolling up and like sorry about this and just dead <laughs> yeah yeah uh, it, it, I, was, I think that was was that jason too no uh, did, pro yeah. i think yuri made a video I, for sure I know. jason jason probably probably i know you helped him there's a okay there's a video of gimp 
with it was Jason's video. And Jason has a landmine planted on the bridge, and he's camping back. And Gimp comes running up, hits the landmine, sees Jason running up the bridge, and there's just a screaming of sl- like right, uh, not not like not slurs, but cuss words just coming out of Gimp's mouth. Just absolutely. <laughs> God fuck, damn it! God damn it! And he just drops. And it was so funny. I'll have to find the video again, but it's somewhere on Jason's channel. I would like to see at FTL if you see that, if you find it, please send it. If to I me. can, fi- I'll find it and send it to you. It was I, so funny. I want to share my one of my most me- memorable game, and it's not funny. It's not a funny experience, which is what I think is surprising to me. It involved Orstiefs and uh, X. And I was, it's like four, five, six months ago, I was pretty down in the game. I had some uh, rough weeks. I was playing in the public lobbies for a while because I didn't know anyone who was playing the game. I was very discouraged. I was about to just give up on the game. I joined one random lobby. It was X's lobby or Steve was there. I find these two guys for the first time ever. And they were just so nice, so helpful. It was just a, such a contrast to all the bullshit I was I've been experiencing <laughs> for the last week. And uh, I just discovered this guy's stream, so I've gone follow X. Two days later, I found out or stream streams, so I go uh, and follow him. And they totally brought the love to the game for me because I was so close to just throw it away and throw it in the garbage. So that's one of the more memorable games I've had. Uh, I don't know if you remember Horse, but... I just remember you in the cabin just doing a constant rendition of what a wonderful world but just with different <laughs> lyrics but with the same tune and asking you when you were like very early when i met you going that would be uh, uh, asparagus do you know any other songs asparagus as- asparagus i see tracks <laughs> in the snow oh, oh no, no, no and i, I follow them oh what have i done <laughs> we'll be going to the, the cabin and just i say to myself stream, please what a wonderful winter thanks Ors. <laughs> but you guys made me so happy. I was so close to just throw the game away. And uh look what you've done, horse. Now we're stuck with them. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, how's well, this? The, you, you ca- kind of caused this show, you and X, to be honest. So I, I mean X was a big oh, part okay. of me enjoying the game back when I first started getting into it because he was playing at the start and he was one of the first streamers that I played with. I think Dude Man, actually. I, I talk about Tweetius a lot, but I think Dude Man was actually the very first streamer lobby that I hopped into. I was thinking about it the other day. But yeah, but it, you you get into this and you actually get in with people who are decent human beings and playing to have a good time and want you all to have a chance to play too and have a half decent time and it is a drastic contrast if you've been playing with a lot of trolls yeah so I, that, that's really cool i actually uh, used to only play with randos like that that was my kind of thing was like i, I, I ended I, up I finding people randos yeah, I didn't mind playing with like one or yeah. two people I did know, but I always wanted to play with randoms because I had one style of play and that was like go immediately, like hundred percent bear traps. Let's let's be that guy. And bear then bear traps, tranks, everything. T- yeah, Tweedius's lobby actually. That's funny you say that. That was the first time I kind of wanted to go to lobbies. Um, I had played with him a couple times, but he had a group of people that were genuinely always fun, no matter what you you know what you did. They didn't want to kill you in five seconds. They didn't want to do any of that stuff. They were more into, you know, you enjoying it as well as them. So that was a nice change to see for something like that. Relax, man. The weird thing is something else <laughs> came to mind as we were talking. My, I, I, I know I already shared, but one of, one of my other most memorable moments was so different from what we're used to in our lobbies. It was one where I got into a U.S. West game. Imagine you got a game oh. on the US West server. It happened back Everybody when it was existed. Like first, Straight second, up. third game. They like they they were in their first three games, and I got red with a brand new player, and it was Tower Bunker map, and I just got to run around and get all the drinks. They were, you know, just exploring, dying to wolves and bears and things. No stress whatsoever. I'm on red radio telling my partner, Oh yeah, you can do this and that. Oh, this means this just happened. You know, just giving them the information as I'm running around juicing up for no particular reason other than the fact that I just can. And it was the most relaxing game of project. And I just for some reason I cherished this game. It ended up 
one person left. We had opened a bridge. They were carrying the parts back to finally fix first and they're heading back to first. And I, I helped them out. I get them to fix it. The very last survivor, my trader partner had died to a wolf somewhere and they fixed the thing and I pull out a crossbow and I shoot them <laughs> once and they go down because they've been out in the elements. And I'm like, well, so there you go. Well, <laughs> there we go. Open bridges. The last two times I've opened a bridge with real teal seal. I was trader and immediately killed her after opening it with her. And she has since proclaimed that she'll never open a bridge with me again because I keep killing her whenever she tries to open one. It's a curse. I don't know if Seal's in the chat <laughs> listening to this, but yeah. She usually she usually is in the chat. I don't know if she's here tonight. Uh Shadow, did you I don't think we have had your uh, favorite game, right? Thank you for um, the last one. Sure. Uh, no, you haven't, but uh there's so many games I love. It's there's there's one that came to mind because it was brought up earlier when I was streaming. It was one game where it it was at, it, it happened in the very first like five minutes, where we went to go open uh, open bunkers for first. There was a whole lot of us. We all were just death balling, and every bunker was getting broken. And it was between me and uh, Leon. I'm not sure if you know him. Uh, who it, we who were breaking the bunkers, and I knew it wasn't me because I was a survivor. And but Leon had convinced everyone that I was traitor. So he gets everyone to go hunt me down and they get me super, super low. So I go run back to cabin to get back in cabin. Leon tries to throw his weapon to finish me. He misses. And as the whole group is right there, he goes to pick up his weapon and he interacts with the sign. And I loved it <laughs> so much. It was, it was such a great moment. I laughed my ass off. <laughs> I, just, I love that moment. I, was I, so, I can, so I can imagine. It. Oh, I want to. I, I, I want to see it now, Shadow. Because I, I don't think I was streaming Leon back reaction. then. Oh no, Damn. that's the common thing Leon's we're all just, saying, like, right? Resignation, Leon's <laughs> Leon's <laughs> UK <laughs> resignation to the situation. I oh, just a reminder to uh, uh, you the video. You said okay. I awesome, awesome, it. awesome. I'll try to see if we can watch it together. Uh, everyone in chat, we've opened a giveaway, by the way. So if you want a chance to win the a free copy of Project Winter, also Red5 told me if you already have Project Winter and you want to change it for a copy of Blackout, this is also something we can do. Uh, make sure to type in chat right now, exclamation points, PPPD giveaway. Uh, only, this uh, giveaway is only open to followers or subscribers to the channel. So if you're not following right now, this is a uh, good moment for you to do so. And we will be uh, doing the giveaway at 9 p.m. So in six minutes. So you guys still have six minutes to do uh, enter the giveaway. Just before the giveaway, I will shoot back with another question. And then, guys, I will go with the uh, trivia question because I really want to know uh, how is your knowledge of the game? If you're going to embarrass yourself or if you're going to blow me away. Look, so, am I allowed to ask consult it? Lucent? No, no one. No one. You have to put <laughs> oh, your if I'm not allowed here. to consult Lucent, I'm going to get them all wrong. Oh, yeah, that was my that's the point. Can we ask that's... the audience? Uh, the audience already seen some of the question, but we did we did not confirm the answer, so they're gonna be able to know uh, if they were right or wrong when we're gonna confirm the answers. <coughs> Pizza asked at the beginning a question that uh, let's say with me. We all talk about making friends, having good experience, and uh, and meeting nice people. Did you ever add? Uh, experience where you lost friends uh, or you got some of your friends very angry for a long time over deception, over lying to them, uh, over this kind of game. Is that something that happened? Not this game, but yeah. Want to share Not about it? Me. <laughs> so person A um, really hates when things happen to them, but has no problem doing it back to you. So, you know, that's uh that's a personal thing uh that them and i actually stopped playing for about two months like everything so but that was uh like you know kind of really petty in hindsight but realistically fuck you <laughs> <laughs> i i don't think i've ever lost a friend but i've definitely got people very angry at me but i think we've all come back together it was only a short never never time. project winner only once never, with another never game. project win I, I have had people be like Oh my gosh! And then they just left, and I saw them a week later. Like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's because the graphics are cartoonish, right? It's too cute. You can be angry for a long time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It just it calms everyone's mind. Uh, Ash, Rust, Shadow, yeah. uh, Orse, any uh, 
Any bad experience in long time with deception with other people? Oh, I've had bad experiences. I thought that was just with people. Bad experiences, but too touchy, specific. Hmm. I had a uh, I had a specific bad moment with uh, someone called the Horse Thief. Hmm. He doesn't play the game much oh. anymore, but yeah, just I never played with him again. Yeah, it's, it's real touchy. What did he do? What did he do? Ah, it's not stream appropriate. Mm, oh, sounds okay. made up. <laughs> sounds made yeah. up. Uh, I had I, this wasn't with a friend, but I had an experience yesterday. It was it wasn't a newer. There were some newer players in the lobby, so I, I was probably the most experienced player in the lobby. But it was dig site. I completely did first objective, and there was a traitor at first objective that w revealed he was a traitor. I can't remember what he did, but we all knew he was a traitor, and we down him. And then he starts screaming out that I'm his partner, which I wasn't. And everyone in the lobby that. proceeds to I believe love to do that, by that I am his partner. Like, they're like, oh, FTL's is, like, I leave, I go get something for the objective, come back. And then they start killing me. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? They're like, I'm sorry, your partner ratted you out. And I'm like, I'm not a traitor. And then they kill me and then proceed to not get second done and lose the game. So it's just Does like... it have to be related to a friend? or No, but well, go ahead. Well, that wasn't oh. related to a friend. So. Yeah. I thought it had to be related to one. But, um... So, with the great Xbox edition, I guess, with the community and stuff like that, mm. I already see some smiles. Mm. Um, the best part is, I love stealing wood and rocks in the beginning of the game because it's really funny to see more conflict because it's just a... Well, the thing is, it's really boring in the beginning. You can literally strip that and make everyone get a free melee weapon in the start, and that'd be the same interaction. At least if you steal something, there's a little bit of spice added, something interesting, a little bit of steam going. But I stole someone's wood when I was traitor. I was delaying him because I saw him punching a bunch of people and being toxic that one game. I even have it <laughs> screen recorded. Can't show it because I'll tell you why in a second. And once um, I'm, like, fighting four people at once, I managed to get killed. I already killed the guy beforehand that I stole his wood. And then he's lecturing me for, I think, like, 12 minutes of the game while we were dead, saying how I'm worse than Hitler. I'm a disgrace to humanity. And just, like, going on and on about how stealing one wood makes me a bad person. It was beautiful. He's not right. I do. I think stealing wood out of laziness, <laughs> I get annoyed. But when it's like a traitor doing it to cause chaos, then you know it's it's like oh okay, yeah. and it's fun. But yeah, I do often kill too, people yeah. who steal my wood. Yep. I will kill over wood. I won't I kill you over to... wood. I'll I'll kill you over other things though. <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta ask a question here. Go ahead. How how honest am I allowed to be? Uh, well, as long as your honesty is TOS friendly, there, there's only there. There have been there have been plenty of moments of saltiness. I am happy sometimes when I'm not feeling it anymore, and I get down, and it's like the end of my play session, just to disconnect because I'm mad. I'll I'll do it. I've done it. it it'll probably happen again at some point. And there are times where I'm like, it. oh, I'm so tired of how this person plays the game because they killed me and they got the better. It's only one one moment of real discord with someone that I have had in this game. And that's been with you asparagus. Yeah, no. I know. I, I don't know if we need to get into this, but there was a moment. We can. we can, there was a moment where something happened in the game. There was some upset. We had a heated conversation outside of that round. The, the, yep. the conversation continued. We went back and forth. I banned you, the only yeah. person I have ever banned in my channel. <laughs> yeah. And then later went back and assessed the situation and went, you know, I'm not totally proud of how I acted. Deleted the whole VOD, of course, unbanned you. But that that did happen. Uh, that yeah. VOD no longer exists, but uh, that, and that did happen. I've had that, I've had that where, I, where I, 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 I thought about it later and I was like, wow, I was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, for me, it was a troll in the lobby. He was a British guy and I started in, imitating his accent. And I was like, ugh, it's like... Ugh, nah. so I just that. Oh, please! I don't want to misrepresent. Or Steve was not the dick there. Oh, I'm. I'm saying I was a uh, dick. I... <laughs> well, I we 
we we we got into something and and something that happened in the game there there was there was upset about how it went down and there there was an argument in the chat and there was a whole back and forth and there was a very frustrated me and a very frustrated asparagus basically just hurling things you know in the heat of things just saying things back and forth i went a little further than i wanted to go i i didn't i didn't say anything outrageously personal but i i did say something a little more personal than i wanted to get something made an accusation um a little bit off the mark that i i didn't like later but yeah we look at that horse times, we had it out you're right here today yeah, right? Guys are friends. Yeah. just 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 do it again just do it again <laughs> spicy <laughs> <laughs> asparagus can be quite the instigator. So what you really think? Come on. <laughs> but truth be told, I kind of wanted to dodge asparagus for a little while after that because I was like, we're probably just going to have a fight. It's probably... It's... We're... And then time passed and things changed and, you know. It's the same thing that happened to me, though. Yeah, like, I, I said, yeah. like, I avoided this person for like two months because of that. And then like the first time I saw him, I was like, ah, ah, fine, whatever. Oh, <laughs> I don't hate you. But you do fast forward, and yeah, now now we can play games together. It's, yeah. We figured out how to we figured out how to play games together. <laughs> and now I invite you on my show two days before, and you just say yes, and you come. So, <laughs> it's true. Well, thanks for the honesty, Ars. I loved it. Go ahead, Ash. Oh yeah. Uh, me and my friend Kotrova, the one I threw off a bridge. Um, <laughs> me and her were in this uh bigger uh group where we were basically stop playing with randoms for a while since you know there's usually i think it was a big group of like i want to say close to like 16 at least double um and there was it was an onion <laughs> so it was a lot of like half of it was a couple people who just got angry at you for doing something but then either did the same thing back or like just sabotage the whole either game or next game because of that one experience which was kind of annoying um or just like like discord drama which somehow i always managed to like have a window to um with people but i think i think the worst one is this person i'm not gonna like specify but they the game before I hadn't hopped in something had happened and they were like pissed and so the next game I'm traitor with the person who's absolutely pissed at this one person and all they go is I'm gonna kill this person like fuck the game like single target lead I'm sitting here like that's not that <laughs> like I that's understand your works. frustration but that's not how this works like first off we're already gonna lose because I'm on your team but, like, <laughs> peel that back, you can't also, like, just say, you know, fuck the game, I'm going after this one person. It was just a frustrating time in general, and I no longer associate myself with that person or the majority of that group. Fair. I'm the I find a little annoying. This is, this is going to probably hit a lot of people, though, because there's a lot of people who fall under this category, is people who reliably... 100% of the time, Wolf Trader. And I had oh, I had a lobby I played regularly that, ha that that ended about two <laughs> horse thief, like two or three months ago. I don't know. We were we played, the eight of us played like every week. But there was one dude in that party that 100%, there was no exceptions though when he didn't Wolf Trader. And it came to the point where if he didn't run off, he was confirmed good. And it was really annoying because you couldn't frame him. If you did frame him, he would just say, well, I haven't run off yet. I'm not bad. And everyone would believe him because we all knew he wouldn't run off. Ever. Unless he, if he did run off, he was a traitor. If he didn't run off, he was good. And it was just that easy for him to confirm himself. That, that used, like, to be, used to be the same, same for me, though, until this, like, this new update. Like, now I want to hang out with people. Yeah. I mean, back when, I mean, this is more of a recent thing that's come upon me. But I mean, I don't hate you if you do that. I just slightly annoyed. So don't I, don't I don't think to, I'm hating anyone. You used to hate. <laughs> well, the issue is if you don't do that, sometimes you legit have no chance of winning unless I'm it's not, an unexperienced lobby. I'm not saying don't no. wolf. I'm I'm just no, saying I'm if saying you wolf a hundred percent. If that's your if that's a trait that we all know immediately, it's kind of not really social deception anymore. It's just kind of like, well, that's yeah. a bad guy. Yeah. I mean that's not like it's not allowed. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's it, just it, it is allowed, but it just. I mean, less. I've done it sometimes when I just don't care as well giving myself away. Oh, I yeah. just go away, open two crates in front of everyone, just bolt, <laughs> and then just at the same screen. Yeah, I've also played games just, where we, where you just, will never give up the fact that you're for sure an innocent, and then I like feel like an asshole killing you, and then I find out twenty minutes later, like oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, no, for sure. It's not like you never give up on it. I admire it. I really do. <laughs> Why would I like, give myself away? When I've been had, I'm like, ah, you got me. Okay, bye. And then you're like, you're like making me second guess myself when there's like three seconds left in the blizzard. Yeah, the other game, after it was, it wasn't last week we were playing and you're like, I think he might have been good. But I knew Asparagus was bad because I had been sussing yeah. him out that whole time. Because I, I saw we did the gondola and then I got him to poison himself before earlier as well because <laughs> I was pretty sure he was traitor. That's a good one. And I yeah. fucked up on this one because I should have at least put the, the parts in the bunker and told you, look at the bunker, look at the box, the parts are there. But I did it. I also noticed, I kept count, because I like to, I like very keep track of what stuff or what boxes in the bunker. I noticed there was two poisons and then I noticed there was a poison that went missing and I remembered you had interacted with that box. <laughs> and then you were like, you should check the last box. I put gas in there. And I was like, really? <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, that, that was not very subtle. Uh, on that story, guys, we will do something different today. We will be taking a one-minute ad break. Uh, we have been uh, doing finding a way to tweak the ads because last week they were coming right in front of people talking. So for my fellow participants, I will give you one or two minutes if you want to go get some water go at the bathroom. We will be back in uh, two minutes to continue the discussion. I have a few more questions for you guys. But if you want to go to the bathroom or uh, go get some water or any drinks, uh, two minute ad breaks, Pizza says. Okay, so two minutes and we will be coming back soon with a giveaway. Cool, guys? We'll see you very yeah. soon. All right. I can't believe it. My dog's going crazy. Can they sell you? I'm against adding both. I'm Vince, uh, highly against adding more neutrals in I'm the game. I'm against adding both. Hey, I'm down. Vince, it's <laughs> highly against adding um, more neutrals in the game. And I am more stop neutral at adding down. new ones, but <laughs> still leaning towards um, against. Uh, I and I am more neutral at adding so new really ones, but good still leaning towards against. And that uh, I a new one is isn't needed. Is a really good neutral, and that a new one isn't needed. Thief will always join the more fun side, especially if they're yeah. being pushed away by the survivor. It says, Yeah, we don't want you, we won't kill you. Especially if they're being pushed away by the survivor. says, Yeah, we don't want you, we won't kill you. I have, I'm typically a lot like for letting the IDT live. If it's someone I know tends to go traitor on the whole side on them and try to stick with them to see what bodies they touch. And I usually won't kill them unless they do something. They start doing really weird. Like if they start poisoning things again after they claim IDP, I'll be like, hey, stop it. Like if they start poisoning things again after they claim IDP, I'll be like, hey, stop it. Can't stop someone from having fun, FDF. Yeah, I know, but it's stopping me from winning. Most lobbies I play have this issue, unfortunately. Yes. Yes. I totally agree with Preston on this one. It sounds to you like uh, this is a new problem, and it would <laughs> oh. make some friends. Uh, That's it's not, not our fault that you have a bad time. I have no friends, you horse. You don't need to draw attention to it. This, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying.
Hey, so we're back. Are we back? Are we back? Are, Are we, we back? back? Let's just see if we're back. If we have some sound. If I messed it up. Are we back? No, there's no Aspire Goof. Good, 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 good. First time. First time, no Aspire Goof. All right, all right. So, yeah. yeah, first of all, we're going to start with the uh, FTL Redeem. FTL Redeem Taiko, the cat here. So, there's a little boy. Hi, FTL. Hi, FTL. Hi, FTL. A little boy that's taiko so we got both both cats today being redeemed on stream for the first time and we also have a winner for the giveaway so let me take a look here out of the six participants to the giveaway it's a quipper quipper congrats you oh, won a quipper. copy of uh, project winter uh you can switch it for a copy of blackout if you rather have a copy of blackout red five told us that was fine and if you want it to, because I know you have the game and you want to give it to a friend to get somebody else in the community, that will be awesome. So Taiko, buddy, Taiko, you say bye to the stream. Say bye I to the stream. Believe their console. Bye, Taiko. Quipper, I don't think so. Bye, I think they're. Bye. I think Quipper's console. It's well, Quipper the, console? the copies are just PC, playing Quipper so. today. I don't think she's console. Yeah, well, congrats, Quipper. Uh, Tentacle is gonna contact you and uh, with your code for for the game. So that's. Uh, that's where we are. I still have a few questions uh, for the di for the discussion tonight, but I really want to go into this uh, quiz. I've prepared this trivia question. So, uh, by the way, guys, if you like the, the discussion tonight, you can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter and on uh, TikTok. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I put extract of the de of the debates every day on Twitter, and it's pretty funny. Sometimes we have some good moments, like uh, Moose almost dying last week. So, guys, we're going to do the uh, little trivia games now. I have a seven question. Uh, seven question here. So, when you, you have an answer for me, I, I was about to say raise your hand, but yeah, for two of you, it's not going to be very fair, right? I, I so, can try. It seems well, fair. <laughs> it seems fair. Uh, so just, make a, just make a funny noise, and I will go to you first. These seven questions are... I would hope pretty hard for some of you, so that's going to be time for some of you guys to embarrass yourself. Uh, people in chat got, uh, as you see, a few of the questions right away. So I'm going to go with the first question. I'm going to read the question. And uh, you guys just uh, make me a sign, aud audio sign or uh, visible sign if you want to answer. Don't scream the answer right away because if you're wrong, we're going to give it somebody else another chance. Are you guys ready? All right. Are we excited for this? I am. Ready. Okay, first question here. This is a, uh, this is a good one. Uh, in Project Winter... How many windows does the cabin have? Ding. Pizer. Got two. Two windows. I would or say is that's it, or is it, No, I think it's three, actually. That is a wrong answer. Anyone else want to yeah. go on? There's one on the side. The first embarrassment. I'm between two numbers. Between two numbers. Yeah, that's a good mm, answer. Just one. Uh, I'll go eight. You go eight? Anybody else will... Uh, Want to go? We didn't get a right answer yet. Windows like the I have, I have a question. Um, if my memory recalls, there's a window with like a wooden bar in between. Do you count that as two yep. or one? Yep. I count that as one. I say three. Mm, the guys are uh, not paying attention. How many hours did you said you had of the game? Not enough, clearly. Thousands. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> I I I, I usually pay attention to gameplay in your effective mechanics. <laughs> I think Lucen is trying to come to uh, confuse us here because Lucen, if it went, okay, no, that's a joke, right? Because the window is outside and inside. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Aren't there windows for just inside? I think that's not a faulty no, question. Because there's, there's so windows. We don't have the answer. The Ash, any any idea? So, <laughs> funny thing is, is I heard how many windows, and then it it cut out. So I'm just. Trying to find context clues here. Okay, when you're standing outside the of the cabin, how many window oh. can you see? Oh, outside like, of the cabin. Like, like outside of it, like just like from oh, like wait, that's, oh, how many God. can you see? Yeah. Or how many does it have? Well, you, you can see them all, so you can. Kind of the well, same. and well, there's some. Uh, 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 it backs I'm up gonna... into a hill. <laughs> It's yeah, I mean, is it a trick question? That's, that's, on the back. On the back. that's an embarrassing up. moment for all of you guys. I'm gonna tell you, there's five windows. I don't so, yeah. I know anything. Five? <laughs> five? Is is it, it, Project it, 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 five windows plus one on the door, so that would be six. This is depending. Shit, it's been eight and six. 
<laughs> okay, uh, this one's gonna I be a very. It's gonna be. Out. It's gonna be uh, much easier. So I, I hope somebody gets in. Uh, who can tell me the res the recipe to craft a landmine? Wait, I. Oh. Peter. Uh, is it two gas and three brown? Nope. Nope, nope. Uh, I, I think it's three rocks and one brown. There you go. First point to oh, FTL. I just want to say that. Congrats, congrats. Oh, wait, I just have a cat. I, I, I never make those. But I made one recently. FTL, you created a, a mess here. Daiko, come, come, come. Come, come, come. Yeah, come, 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 come. come. I rose yeah, my hand to IRL and I'm like, darn it. Bye, FTL. <laughs> 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 Fell a little short there, huh? Very close. The bear trapper okay. doesn't know Next how to question make here. This is tough one. In the main menu of the game, when you're creating a, a when you're joining a, a lobby, how many regions are supported in the main menu right now? Right what? Now? Do, what do you think I do? I do I count the regions. Well, you guys yeah, claim I'll, you have thousands of hours. I'll, it's I'll, USA East and USA East. I'll try. I say seven. Re, I'll try recalling all of them. First is Asia, South America, U.S. East, U.S. West, or not anymore. Europe. Then I got rid of. Yeah. Uh, Europe. I already said Asia. Um, let's see. Us. No. No, Australia. So that's Japan and... <laughs> Rust relaunching game right now. No. <laughs> um, I know there's one more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it again. South Korea, oh. North Russia. I don't remember. Thousands of oh, hours. Oh, it's Russia. I forgot. Oh well. So, what's your number? Seven. Seven. It's eight. Yeah, it's Australia is one. Australia is one, isn't it? USA, ah, East, what? Europe, Asia, Japan, Australia, South America, Russia, I and Korea. Fuck. You guys forgot Korea. <laughs> oh, come on, I did say Korea. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, that's oh, eight. He was counting, and I was just like, I know Australia is one for sure. So I should have <laughs> added one more. This one, we'll see if you guys are observant, uh, very observant. So I don't know if you remember, next to the fireplace in the cabin, there is a small stack of logs that are already chopped, ready to be put in the fire. How many logs are there on the side, ready to be put in the fire? What are these questions? I'm going to say three, because rules of three. I'm... Three? That's my seven. guess. I'm going to say seven. I think it's probably six. Maybe six. I heard seven. I, I, I was expect. I was expecting gameplay questions. Not gonna lie. Yeah. No, <laughs> just random aesthetic questions and server. Yeah, I mean, questions. technically, they're they're part of the game. They're part of the game. Yeah, it is true. Points. But just what? Not what I was expecting. You deceived me. I'm gonna the game. I'm gonna be examining everything. <laughs> well, whoever said seven are correct. There's I'm seven. Such a genius. So we have FTL <laughs> and Shadow at one point now. That was so right. strategic. Not a guess. Yep. Okay, this oh, one, yeah, I, I don't think anyone will yeah, get yeah. it. One. Inside the cabin, there is one coffee mug somewhere. Where is the coffee mug? It's up on the table oh, next it's... to the roll sheet. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that. No. No? Really? It's not with the roll next sheet. Next to the radio calling thing? On the radio? Oh. Next to the radio. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I thought that there was it's one of those on two places. Sure. Okay, you guys are going to hate this one. I <laughs> love this one. Uh, you know on the on the roof of the cabin there's a ladder how many steps yeah. are there on oh, the ladder man. what why <laughs> oh, what, <laughs> what why? is these questions <laughs> like i heard thousands of hours so. trivia you've ever heard of i'm gonna I say five I, apparently I it's a 13. cabin mastery actually too. no just eight i think whoever 11, did the research decided nine. not to leave cabin or the main menu to find these quiz <laughs> questions i did i, did. <laughs> oh, I don't even have to start a game hell yeah <laughs> I could just look around cabin. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if you're observant. Apparently, you're not. So, how, how are you expecting to find people doing trickier tri tri stuff if you're not looking around? They went up 11 steps. I saw them. What well, about <laughs> how many maps have the uh, Trader's Bluff tile? That, that that's a good a... one for next week. Write it down. So, uh, I heard five. Uh, anybody's going to try. Nine. I think it's eight. eight. It's an eleven. It's eleven. Eight, eleven. It's Nine. fourteen. Oh, Do I win the showcase? <laughs> okay, the last one is going to be easier. I'm pretty sure it's going to be easier. If you guys don't get this one, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, what icon 
can you see drawn on the uh, exile post outside of the house? Exile post? There, there's a logo drawn on the exile in the exile place. What's the logo that's drawn? It's one of I. Uh, it's either it's scout or traitor. I'm gonna bet scout. Survivor. It's like the survivor on fire image, right? Yeah. Like the survivor artifact. The. Yeah. It is not. Is it the like exile person with the whole circle and the slash and the person? Oh. It is not. Is it? Mm. What is oh, it? Was... Thousands I... of hours. I it is know. a yellow question mark with a circle and a bar on top of it. Once again, a man who never left cabin to find these questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Shadow of TL, congrats. You've won this uh, very difficult trivia. Do I get a trophy? No. You'll get oh. a free pot pie on a game oh. when we start. You I'll make you all a pot pie. Yay! Oh, great. That, it's worth it. Uh, are you sure you want a pot pie I'm then? sure it's not yeah, poison. I was about to say. <laughs> it, it, might, it might taste fishy. Uh, let me just check before we go if we have questions from the chat. And if not, I will get the ball running with one more question, guys, uh, before uh, we go. This almost been an hour and a half right now, but I still want to go uh, for one or two questions I had here. Uh, uh, this one we had, this one we did. So I'm going to bring you back to the main question that we kind of skirt around from the beginning, and I will give you uh, a, a wish of you a bit of time. So the main question is, what brings you the most enjoyment out of Project Winter? This is supposed to be a love fest tonight, so like or Steve said. So I would like to know what brings you the most enjoyment out of the game. I guess I'll um, go. Oh, can we go uh, on yeah. top? Are we, are we going in order here? Are we going in order? Do I just go or they go? Go or... ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Everyone who wants go. to go, I I'm going to take notes. I'll just do, I'll be sweet and simple. It's easy answer for me, at least. People. I love the community. I love everyone I play with. Playing with randos, I, I could not do that. I cannot. Playing with the people that I, I get to do, play with. That's that's it for me. Peaser? No. <laughs> See, well, not, not everybody. I, I've, I've met a lot of us. Okay, people. well, not your community is just wrong. Mine's great. <laughs> Mine's random. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your problem. Okay. So, I have a, my moments as well. Yeah, deception and deduction is a lot of fun. Sometimes, like, these great, like, little glorious moments that happen within the game they're like one time like just something that's fantastic happens for this this is not even in the game this was in the menu and it was later at night it was with a few members of the pot pie pals and there was five of us in the lobby and for whatever reason everyone wanted me to read a story so i pulled up the um snow white and the seven dwarves like book and started reading it in the main menu for about 40 minutes and random people joined in and they just sat quiet and listened as i sat and we sat in the project mentor main menu as i read through snow white and the seven dwarfs and we just all chilled and enjoyed it and it was just a <laughs> glorious little peaceful moment of fun it was just a fun moment just like special things like that that happen so the fact that the game allows you to have moments like that yeah can you imagine doing that in a first-person shooter? No. <laughs> I think I think you get to see a lot of different, like maybe TF2, and yeah, maybe you see a lot of different like emotions and like a uh, like like personality traits from people that you wouldn't see in other types. Like you're definitely in a first-person shooter, not getting someone who's gonna try to convince you why they didn't kill that guy, right? He's gonna shoot you. So. I've found that keeping that the community is amazing. I mean, we can always say that too, but I found keeping that like that rush of always being shitty at lying in person, but being okay behind a computer is a lot more fun for me because it's something that I don't get to do in real life. Murder and lie to people. <laughs> that might just be a you thing then. <laughs> You know. So the game allows you to uh, and just rifle execute raw some berries fantasies into my gut. there, user. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm going to be careful about this VOD, by the way. <laughs> Anybody else want to share what brings them enjoyment uh, in Project Winter? The most enjoyment in Project Winter. Before, it was community for me. When it was a lot smaller, like you guys even said it before, like everyone knows your name. Everyone is a tight-knit community beforehand but cheers 
Yeah. <laughs> but with uh, more people coming, more lobbies opening up because of Xbox and stuff like that, a little bit of that is lost. So now it's more of the interactions, more of the reactions you get out of people that's been the main driving force of fun afterwards. Ash, horse? Um, in the beginning, I think it was a little bit of what everyone else has already said for me. Um, being able to lie when I can't in real life, um, the community. Uh, but now that I actually want to get good and to be able to learn game, me uh, game mechanics and, you know, actually, you know, try harder in the game, I think for me it's... Sorry, my brain had a lag. <laughs> um, I think it's just... You could have blamed your internet. You have never known. No, you actually no, worked so still I... <laughs> that you could have definitely blamed your internet. No, it's it's my brain. I'm. It takes pauses uh, out of my day on a daily basis. Um, I think it's just learning things about uh, myself, uh, what kind of player I am, um, learning about my friends that I've made on Project Winter, and learning about uh, other gameplays from others that tend to be on more often horse or uh i think ftl also has to go well mine mine is it's it's kind of intertwined it the magic of this game to me hit me at a time when a lot of stuff didn't make a lot of sense uh there was a lot of frustration in real life around a couple of situations that were going on and then getting in and, and starting to meet some of these people that i've met but the 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 thing that that so you had this background of of frustration and different things happening and then at the same time there was this game and it was very complicated and there were these people who were very good for reasons that i couldn't immediately identify but at the same time i was learning alongside of some people who had more experience and were better than me but still that the the, the magic of the game at first and and very much what i i think what sucked me in forever the the magic was the shared awkwardness and it used to be we'd go out through a blizzard and throw a campfire down and everybody would gather wood and you'd have five six people all just sitting around the campfire these days not so much people pretty much know exactly what they need to go get what they need to bring back how the quickest way is to do that you might throw a campfire down you're gonna fuel it up you're gonna but it back Back, back, back when I was just, a, uh, as Navita was talking about earlier, just an innocent little horsey learning how to play the game. We, we had these just, all these really cool, <laughs> awkward, we didn't, we didn't exactly know how people were going to behave and what things were going to shake out and how the best way was to get, we, we, we all kind of sucked at fighting animals at at least one phase of our game time playing and we all for kind of figuring out what's good ways to actually get out there and kill people and, and how, do, how do we play this trader and you know back when i would stress about can i get a trader role and actually make this an interesting game or am i just going to be a boring trader they're going to kill me and the game's going to kind of just suck and, and play out like that that awkward period was the magical part and now the the, the magic has to be recreated by a shared commitment to it may not be as important to win the game. Played some games with uh, Alindra just yesterday, and it, it was, we have to recreate some of that awkwardness now of our own to kind of bring back some of those really fun, silly, strange moments that that emerge naturally. The, the game had a way through its complexity and its, its denseness of drawing that out at first. And now that we're <laughs> all so experienced and good and you know seasoned vets of the game, now we get to goof around in a different way, but it's it, the goofing around is, is always going to be central to this game. And if you play with people that are experienced, uh, you will not be killed for goofing around, which is fun. Uh, is anyone go with this question? Did I forget anyone? FTL, Rustery, FTL went, yeah, okay. Uh, one last question I want to give you guys. Uh, I want you to convince me in 30 seconds. You would have only 30 seconds to answer this one. I want you to tell me what is your favorite, because we're doing a love fest, right? What is your favorite role in the game and why I should play this one role 
uh, next next round. You want to go first? You need to sell me that roll in thirty seconds. How many ID thieves are you gonna get? I I I, <laughs> I, I say it every stream. ID, ID thief. thief is the best roll in the game. Deep, deep. No doubt about it. ID play, thief. Play both sides. You really can't. No, really, even no know matter who's chaos at every corner. Sometimes Here, you can do whatever I want. You want. I, sometimes I want a different role depending on my mood. And regardless of my mood, ID Thief is always one I want. Like, if I'm feeling awake and ready to go, you know, I want Traitor. If I'm feeling kind of sleepy and relaxed, I want Survivor. But regardless, ID Thief is one that I'll be happy with either way. ID Thief is the most perfect Whatever thing doing. that this that Project Winner community has made. ID Thief, ID, 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 ID. Here, I'll go with something else. Something, something else? Have... Rester, how dare you betray us? Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying my second favorite role. ID oh, Thief's okay. still up there, but I there's a workaround. But the one I'm advising is a little bit biased, but if you're interested in PvP, Defector is a really fun play on how the game goes. Because with Defector, Yeah, Defector is second. Yeah, for me because you, instead of just being, oh, I'm a powerless survivor, I gotta stick with my group, you can change the power dynamic and use the own trader's tools against them. You have access to the trader crates and you're not burdened by having to simply just get trader credits and then use that in order to buy points. You can steal the trader airdrop right in front of them. I have a clip. It's amazing. I had the feeling where the trader airdrop was because the traders were walking there, made it to it first, took everything, and I had them running away you have the dynamic to become powerful and change the roles on top of everything by yourself. Sure, against more competent traders and stuff like that, it's a lot harder to do, but it's possible and it adds a new dynamic and it's fun. No other role does that besides ID. That's a good pitch for 30 seconds. So, Ash, you want to go last? Yeah. Um, I agree. Of course, I mean, I'm going to agree with ID, but have we thought about detective? Mm, detective. I mean, I know, I know. Besides with ID, ID thief, thief, you besides also, ID thief, you also, <laughs> you also get um the jazz music. But that ends once you pick a role. Like I just love going to a body and just hearing the jazz. It kind of lightens my mood. That's like, why I play the game for the just, jazz. It's all about the jazz, you know. I identified the one okay, person like who really loves the jazz music. <laughs> like <Yeah>. one person. <laughs> so, uh, before, okay, I will say now this role is not as held as high in my mind, but pre-nerf, for me, hacker was my favorite role other than ID thief for quite a while because I just love the independence that I have. It's similar. To, the defector was a close third for me. But you I don't have to love the fact that it runs hold itself. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was like such a great just to run off. I will say the nerf was somewhat needed, but I still think it was nerfed a little too hard. Somewhat um, needed. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Somewhat nuts. needed. Somewhat Get to needed. See yes. I'll, I'll, I got this. You all stay at cabin. <laughs> you guys got this. I'm going to go open three tower bunkers, which I would have done. Oftentimes, yeah. before I remember before the even the uh, Dark Woods came out, there was a game where I just I crafted two campfires as a hacker, ran off, it was on the cliff map with all the towers, and I came back <sighs> later on, about ten minutes later, or I think it was like fifteen minutes later, with like I was a hundred, I had like a hundred and fifty something health as or a thousand five hundred health of something as a hacker, and I had like two guns, and I was like loaded and ready to like gun down traders as this beefy survivor. Actually, I think I have 1,700, but yeah. Yeah, sorry. I have something uh, entirely off topic, what you're saying. Um, Ash, I'm just curious. When you're ID thief, do you kill people not to take the robo for the music? <laughs> <laughs> That's assuming I can kill someone. <laughs> I have a question here uh, for uh, Red5 in the chat. If you have a MP3 of the song, jazz song, if you can send it to me, I'll share it with, with Ash. <laughs> That way you can there listen you to the trading That'd music at home. I might make it my ringtone. <laughs> it's funny because I don't actually weird. like jazz. <laughs> but I That's do weird. specifically like that jazz music. Every time I hear it, I'm like, oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, so, Ash, what you need to do is craft a buttload of pot pies. Go up to someone who's good I at fighting that. and say, hey, if you kill this person, I'll give you pot pies. <laughs> no, and I already people and, then you get jazz. and if he kills you, he gets pot pies. Yeah, I was about to say FTL, they're just going to kill you for the butt pies. You get, you get butt pies as well. No, nobody, but... nobody gets to do the music. You craft, you craft, see what I do is I craft a backpack and then I make pot pies and I say, peace offering, and I throw pot pies at people. 
So and they pick them up. Does it work? <laughs> Ash gets the icon as ID thief and he immediately runs to the quadrant and just stands there. Traders walk by like, no, I'm vibing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's been very nice. Uh, it's been a great discussion. Thank you all of you for being here tonight. Uh, we will be doing the uh, conclusions right now. Uh, one of you, uh, each one of you, I will give you one minute to just uh, just introduce yourself, uh, say your final words. If you are a content creator, make sure to uh, plug your content. And after that, we will be going into the post-match Project Winter game. We'll do at least one round. I hope every one of you joins. Uh, every one of you join us. And uh, there you go. So if you want to tell us uh, what you thought about the debate, about the discussion, uh, if you have anything to say about the topic, feel free to uh, to tell us. And once again, where people can find you. So Ash, uh, we'll go for your final words. All right. I'm Ash, or in game, I am Taylor Jade. Uh, I, it was really interesting getting to hear all of your guys' opinions, since I've never, one, first met you guys, second, I've never played with you guys. Um, so it was some really good takes. I Project Winter, I think, kind of brings a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds, and that's kind of what makes it a great community that's all i have to say uh, thank you so much for being I'm here tonight FT <laughs> i'm ftl uh, i would love to play with you sometime ash because i have never seen you i'd also love to play with you too horse thief because i never see you um we played <laughs> I, I said yeah. never i said never like you never I see me anymore i understand but we i never played. see you anymore <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, you can follow my Twitch at PW underscore FTL. I will hopefully eventually stream. Each week I say I will, and I haven't yet. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope and, I was okay. Uh, everyone, please pay attention. FTL made sure to un made sure to undo his shirt before we started. So I hope you guys noticed. That was that was you. Because he was I had it all buttoned up it. and nice. And then Asparagus is like, you should unbutton your shirt. Oh, it's back. It's calm down. Whoa. Was it just you two in the Discord at that time? What was going on? <laughs> yep. It's like one more button. Yeah. There you go. Stand up. There you go. No, now we can see it. You should be the spicy asparagus. Yeah. Why stand up? My like, legs are here. We keep going. Oh, jeez. <laughs> or Steve. So, yep. Yeah, I'm uh, streaming every day. Twitch TV. Horsey 3 or weekdays. Uh, However, Project Winner is not on the radar at the moment for stream time. It is Auto Battler specifically Storybook Sorry. Brawl. I am posting daily, not just every weekday, but daily YouTube content for Storybook Brawl under the Horse Thief Storybook Brawl. And uh, that's that's what I spent my time. But you will likely find me in the cabin from time to time. I, I do play a, a handful of rounds of Project Winter throughout the, the week here and there. So that's me. Awesome. Peaser. Uh, yeah. Uh, Peaser plays on Twitch. I stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Project Winner specifically. Every other day is just something else. Um, the something else right now is Mass Effect 2. I finished Ooh. the first one. That is that is an absolute great game. Just a slog. Just, just I don't care what you say. It's amazing. Just such a clunky-ass 2005 game, 7 game. But, hey, it was great. Uh, now... Um, on Saturday, Zeke has something going on, a multi-stream, if you guys want to check that out. Yeah. Starts at 1.30 my time, and I'm the reason why it's going on late, sorry. So, um, yeah, uh, go check him out, and there's a couple other people, including Asparagus in that, too. So, Saturday afternoon, come uh, come hang out, guys. I I'm going to come to it. Don't worry about it, Pizza. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> Press <Ooh>. three, go ahead. <laughs> It was a fun debate. Um, love to hear what everyone else had to say. Well, not really a debate, but um, it's more of a roundtable tonight. Yeah, it was fun to be here again. And also, I have a YouTube Rustry and a Twitch that sometimes streams Rustry at a little bit random because of schoolwork, etc., and all that going on. Awesome. Thank you for being here. And a shadow without camera tonight. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I can see my face. Um, Yeah, it was a lovely time being here. Lovely time with all of you people. Ash, I'm so sorry. Assuming you're playing with us. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I had a great time. Project Winner is a great game. So many lovely people. I think my team clearly won this debate. Um, yeah. Yeah, you'll find me on Twitch, Chaotic Shadow 6. The name will change eventually. Yeah. 
Excellent. And uh, I'm Asparagus Dikery. I host this show every week, Pot by Pause the Bit. It's, this is our sixth uh, edition so far. And uh, for the eighth edition, we have a special show coming up, guys. So uh, keep that in mind. But not next, not next week, but the week after, we're going to host a special uh, only woman panel. And we will be di- they will be discussing if uh, Project Motorway is a welcoming community for women. I will stand out of the moderation for this debate because, of course, it will be a bit weird. <laughs> you want to touch but... that with a 10-foot pole, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this, no you, you know what I mean, Pizza. It's not my yeah. place to host this. No, debate, absolutely not. I, I think there's something that needs to be said. So this will be a very good discussion. I hope all of you guys see here. Uh, to come and see. I stream Project Winter on Twitch on this channel you're watching right now. So if you want to see more of it, you can follow or subscribe. And as uh, Pisa was mentioning, I have the poster here. There's going to be a, a special event on uh, this weekend uh, hosted, well, organized by Zeke. We're going to have uh, eight streamers playing at the same time. We're going to have a multi-stream set up with all the faces of everyone. So if you want to see Dudeman, Pisa, Impto, Zeke, myself, Tuba Antic, Grande, and Real Deal Teal Seal, uh, come and join us, all of our, on our uh, private channels. It's going to be at uh, 1.30 p.m. EST, and this should be a blast. So, other than that, I will be going to uh, set up the Project Winter game for you guys. So, thanks so much for everyone for joining in. Uh, we will be taking a two or three minutes break, so don't leave everyone in chat. We'll be hosting this uh, post game with all of these, stream- uh, all of these uh, participants that want to stay with us. Have a great evening, guys, and we will see you soon.